Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna see how to share components between modules in Angular. So let's switch to Visual Studio Code and start coding. So here I have a basic structure from Angular generated by Angel, uh, Angular CLI. And now what you have to do, and actually I'm gonna do, is uh, into this app folder here, I'm gonna create a new module. So to do that, go to your terminal and type ng, g as a generate, m as a module, and name that module shared. Hit enter, and it will generate a shared module here in the, this folder shared. So it adds shared folder and shared module inside it. Right now, uh, we have to add our component that is going to be shared here. Uh, to do that, go to the terminal again and type ng g c as a component and put that component into shared components. This will generate components folder and name it, for example, my button. And uh, add a flag dash dash export. This means that uh, this component is going to be exported from a uh, shared module here. So we now, uh, now as you can see, we have a components folder here. We have my button here, component. And in our shared module here, we can see exports here and my button component here, as well as in declarations. So this means basically that uh, uh, this component is exported from our module. So uh, when we have to use this component in any other module, we have to import the module only as we are going to do right now. So in our app module TS, uh, we're going to import here next to the browser module. I will add shared module, shared module. Hit enter and import as shared module, save, and that's it. So now we have shared module imported. And in this shared module, every single component that is exported is going to be uh, available uh, for us to use in our app module or any other module. So we are basically sharing components from shared module to app module. So uh, in our app component, I'm going to remove everything from here. And now I'm going to add app my button. And that's my component here right now. So uh, I'll just uh, go to terminal ng uh, s and dash dash o. That means that it will open our browser after compiling this code. So we have to wait for it. But uh, right now we can see here uh, on uh, port 4200 uh, my button works. So that means that our component works in our app component. Uh, we could add something here to try this out. So uh, in our my button component here, I'm going to add at input. And this input is going to be imported from Angular core. So add it here, input. And right now here, uh, I'll add a component uh, named uh, name. That is a type of string. And uh, we're going just to add as a fallback empty, empty quotes here, single quotes. So uh, if we don't add anything, it will just be empty. Uh, after doing this, uh, we're, going to, we're going to use our name here in our my button here. So uh, instead of paragraph here, we're just going to add a button. And here, we'll just add a name. So it'll uh, get our name uh, from the component there. So when we go back, we can see button without anything inside. And now in our app component here, where we are calling my button here, uh, we're going to add a name. And we'll just uh, type first button. And also we could add another one, just duplicate this and type second one, second button, hit save, it compiles, go here and we can see right now first button, second button. So this is the same button, but we have uh, just implemented the logic of sharing the component and providing the details inside of it. So uh, this was really easy to uh, use and I hope this was uh, easy for you to follow. Uh, if you like this video, please share, subscribe or like the video and uh, see you in the next one. Thank you and bye.